Good morning, friends. I'm just starting today's vlog. I think today's gonna be a pretty relaxing home day. We might go out a little bit later. I actually had plans. I thought we were gonna go out this morning. We have no plans um, scheduled, like with friends or anything like that. I just thought maybe we'd go to the park or the library or something. I shouldn't say that too loud because the kids are gonna be like, what, we were going to? Because I didn't tell them. I like to, as much as possible, one little mom tip for you. I like to not tell my kids what is coming up until like the morning of. If I can get away with it, I won't tell them that we're getting together with friends or going going somewhere special, some special event. I try to wait till the morning of <laughs> to tell my kids. Now my older ones, they can read the calendar and so they'll look at the calendar and sometimes they'll tell the younger ones like, oh, in three days, we are going to so-and-so's house. But especially when my kids were younger, I would just not tell them just in case something comes up, it gets canceled, the kids get sick. Um, it just, then you don't have to deal with the disappointment and you don't have to deal with your kids and their constant like, oh, are we going now? Are we going now? When is it again? I just wait and like, surprise, we're doing this today. Don't I do that, Simeon? Yeah. We had forgotten that Simeon hadn't quite finished his writing book. A couple of the kids, I was like, oh my goodness. It's <laughs> but I'm so close to that. So close. He has like five pages left. I only I have was, this much left. Yeah, I was taking I one apart. Page. You are only one page now? Yeah, look. I'm awesome. Good for you. I was actually going through their books to put together the like end of year binders where I just put together just a few pages from each of their books kind of as a little portfolio for the school year. Anyway, I was going through a couple of the kids writing books and I was like, wait a second, we didn't even finish. So we've been working on that the last couple of weeks. But what I was saying, um, I thought maybe we would go somewhere this morning, but we've just gotten up and just kind of dragged this morning, I guess. Was that obvious that I had like a crumb on my mouth this whole time I was talking? I hope not. <laughs> um, We've just been kind of moving slow and I'm like, you know what? We're not gonna push anything. We have been, we've had so many busy days lately. I think it's just because it's summer and I'm like, oh, we have to like make the most of our summer. Let's go to the park. Let's go do something fun. But sometimes home days are nice too, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go out later, but for this morning, I think we'll just have a nice quiet, <laughs> a nice quiet morning at home. You're so handsome. It does look very good. Simeon, the one thing I would say to you is to try to make your V's um, more pointy. Like this, that just looks like a U to me. I can't really tell that it's a V. Do you see that? I didn't How know you just looked like that. Well, Simeon, if a V doesn't have like a, a sharp point at the bottom, then it looks like a U, right? So I want you to write even again. Just write it again down here. And I want to see a nice pointy bottom of your, of your V. So Other absolutely than that, pointy. absolutely pointy. <laughs> Well, it should look like a V. I should be able to tell that it's a V. Okay. That looks like a V. Much better. Yeah, I can just glance at that and right away I know that it's a V. Good job. And only one page left? You can choose. If you want to do one more page today, you can. Or you can do it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. You'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, good job. Andrew took the kids. We've had a pretty eventful week actually. Andrew took the kids camping. Um, Monday night to Tuesday and so he took all the kids this was his first time taking all the kids Wesley's first time camping and Andrew goes with a friend of his and they just take all of their kids and so I stay home and I don't mind that but this was my first year uh, just being home by myself I usually have the youngest one still home with me and uh, so they they took off they went I had about three or four hours to myself before Andrew called me and said that Wesley had fallen. Um, I guess he was at right by the creek and there was like a big hill beside it or something. It was steep. It was steep. Yeah, <laughs> Simeon can tell the story. I wasn't there. Anyway, somehow he tripped and fell in the creek and got a big gash on his chin. And so Andrew's like, sorry, I know you were enjoying your... Um, <laughs> you're you're think, eating by yourself. I think it's because his chin bunked a walk, walk at the bottom because there's a rock sticking out of the water. It had to. Yeah, it had to have been a rock. And so he's like, can you meet me at the ER? So I met him at the ER and took over. Wesley got six stitches down under his chin. 
Um, maybe I'll talk with him about it a little bit more later. You can see him, but he did so, so well. Um, his biggest disappointment was that he couldn't go back to camping. He kept begging me. We were at the hospital and I just kept like avoiding talking about it because he was just like, and then we're going to go back and see daddy, right? And then we're going to go back and see daddy. Um, and I was like, no, we're just going to go home, home to bed. He was just like, I want, I want to sleep in the tent. I need to go back and sleep in the tent. And so I think in a, in a couple weeks or something, Andrew will set up the tent in the backyard and Wesley will have, Wesley will have some camping, but he's doing so well. He did the first couple days after he didn't want to eat and he's like, my mouth hurts, my teeth hurts and my teeth hurt. And finally I realized that underneath his tongue is all bruised. Like it went through, it was a, it was a pretty deep cut. The doctor actually was like, oh my goodness, did that go through? But, um, it didn't, but it's all bruised in there. And so He's healing, we're trying to take it easy, but he's an adventurous boy. I didn't know okay, new. I've been I've been filming forever and I'm like, this is a day in the life. And probably this vlog should be half over with how much how much I've talked already. What did you say that is? Uh, it's a net. A net? Like a soccer net? No, it oh, a basketball net. A basketball net? It made more sense when I thought it was a soccer but, net. I mean it's not a basketball net, it's not a flowing a soccer ball net. A soccer ball net. A, a throwing one. soccer ball. Could you keep them under here? That's right. Oh. I bet we have a little ball that you could play with and and try pushing it under the net. Yeah. And this net? Yeah. Yeah, can I, yeah but, when, but not me yet. We need one more. That's true. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I hear the rain. Do you hear it? Yeah. I know this is a very necessary rain day. Wesley, you left your bike out. Oh. <laughs> your bike's getting all wet, dude. Do you want to go take care of it? Yeah. Do ya? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna sink, right? Pardon? I'm not gonna sink, right? You're not gonna sink. <laughs> You're not gonna sink, nope. Oh, and we also left Zara's running shoes out here. My goodness. Good job. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect him to say yes, that he was going to take care of the bike, but it is coming down. At least the chickens are staying dry back there. Whoa! There they are. I can't believe my zoom in is that clear. Look at them all. Oh, I hear some thunder too. Okay, come on, quick, you're getting so wet. <laughs> yeah, it's wet. All right, what are we doing in your hair? Curly. Curly? You know what, I'm gonna actually close this window because you hear all the rain and the thunder and it's... It's thunder? So yesterday, look over here, Zara, in the camera. Yesterday, Zara asked me to do her hair in French braids. And why did you want your hair in French braids? Because she wanted her hair curly. That is why. She used to not love me doing her hair in French braids, so I would convince her, like, okay, Zara, I want your hair out of your face. Let's do it, and then you'll have curly hair. And she loves having curly hair so much that now she asks for French braids just so she can have curls the next day. All right, Zara's trying to tell me it doesn't make my hair curly, it just makes it wavy, right? Yeah. So I just take some of this mousse. That's what one I have. The only time, it says Boo Bamboo. Body Boost Volumizing Mousse. The only time I ever use, I've had this mousse for a long time because the only time I ever, ever use it is for braids. <laughs> so after the kids, after the girls have their hair braided and I um, take the braids out. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a funny spelling of moose. You see how it says M-O-U-S-S-E. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but I just kind of get it all through her hair. And as I'm doing it, I scrunch it a bit. And if she looks in the mirror too much, she's like, why are there white stuff? Why is there white stuff in my hair? But it all gets mixed in, right? This mirror, Zara, we're not going to ask that. That's part of the process. Okay, tell everybody what you just told me. Sometimes when I have less time, I pretend I have a YouTube channel. And my video I see is like a TV. What? 
So how, so how do you pretend you have a YouTube channel with your mirror being a TV? Like, is it just playing your YouTube video or are you actually filming a YouTube video? I'm, like, I'm filming a YouTube video. So you're looking in the mirror and you're talking yeah. and pretending it's a video? Yeah, and I'm pretending friends are watching. Really? Yeah. You should take the camera sometime and do it so I can see what you say. I would love to watch that. <laughs> you don't get embarrassed, do you? Yeah. You do sometimes. All right, what do you have for a snack? Yum. It is story time before before nap time, right guys? Yeah. Why can we only see my face? No one else says. I'm laying down, everyone else is sitting up. There's a handsome face. All right, so I get the kids, well, usually I read to Wesley and Zara and I get them each to pick out a book. This is the book that Wesley has been picking out for me just about all week. And it's fine, but it's like, oh, I would so much rather just read a cute little story than read a book like this. Mm -hmm. But here we are, Zara. Oh, Zara, that's a good one. Zara picked this one, a little story. But not that so, one, this one first. This one first. Um, is that polite? Yeah. You did pick it out first, so we will start with this one. Yeah. What? Can you please go do this one? Do this Wesley, one. I thought I did like this whole book yesterday. Did this, I not? This one would be. Okay. So, um, growing and healing. What if things go wrong and how does your body grow? Your bones and muscles help you stand and move around. You see? There it is. There's all the, the guy's muscles. Let's look underneath. And there's his skeleton. There's his ribs that protect all of his organs. And there's his skull. Oh, and what's in there? A nose. Yeah. This book, let me just show it one more time. Just a second. Underneath it, <coughs> excuse me, underneath the skeleton it shows there's your heart and there are your lungs. This is a really good book. It's a really good uh, school book. It's just, <laughs> to try to read it aloud, it's just, it's just a little funny. Uh, but here, let's look at this page. Charity and Simeon are, looks like they're on here together, playing some Night Zookeeper. This is a great app or a great website for doing some writing, <laughs> but obviously it's also enjoyable for doing art, right Charity? Yes, I love My goodness. the drawing stuff. You love that? Sorry about all, all the noise in the background. Something's going on upstairs. I think Zara's playing with kitchen toys up in her room. See what happens as soon as one child is on screen time? <laughs> all of a sudden there's four kids having some screen time. And Elijah, hey, I was just gonna come over and show what you were doing. He's the one making all the other all the other noise. Show us quick what you're doing. Okay. Show us, show us. What are you doing over here? I just photocopied. You didn't photocopy, you no. just printed it yeah. up, right? Yeah. yeah. So Elijah went into the Adventures and Odyssey script. website and printed up a whole ton. You're gonna need a big spine for this too. Yeah, I know. Um, so I love this for homeschooling. Elijah loves it for his little projects as well. So he's been making a little book. I hope I have nothing in my teeth again. I just ate a cashew granola bar for my snack. Yes, that was Zara making all the noise down up there, <laughs> bringing down all these, all these food toys. But I wanted to let you guys know that I have a code again, or I have a link again, where you can get 50% off your annual subscription to Night Zookeeper. You guys know we love this program. It is a great summertime educational addition to your days, but it is also great during the school year. And so if you're looking for an app or a site uh, that can be some educational screen time for your kids, check out the link down below in my description box to Night Zookeeper. This is crazy. It did stop raining for quite a while. It's like a puddle. Uh, I know. It's like everywhere is a puddle. I know. I was looking to see if there was any hail out here. It looks like it's all just rain, but my goodness, it's coming down. The house is so dark. I'll stand right in front of the window because it looks bright when I'm standing in front of the window, but it is so, so dark. I've gotten a couple of tornado warnings for like this area. What is with this color? Like we look so gray. I don't know what's going I don't on. Know. But I've looked outside. Well, before it started pouring, I looked outside a couple times. I'm like, it looks okay. I, if we have, if I am 
if I am very worried that a tornado is coming, we would go into our front closet. This is like the basement of our house. We don't have a floor below this. And so that would be like the safest place in case of a tornado is the closet. But I haven't heard that like anyone has officially spotted a funnel cloud or anything. So for now, I think we're good. Yeah. The kids have, not surprisingly, thought that today would be a great day for them to have some screen time. So I said, that's fine. You guys can watch something a little bit later, but I'm gonna give you some, something quick to do first. And so I am getting each of them to write a journal page. We have these journals I have put together. Can I just see the front page of this? So each of the kids has their own journal with just these printable pages I've found. And so they are all gonna write a journal page here. I said, we've had a pretty busy summer and you haven't done any journal pages over the summer yet. So write a little something about how your summer's going. And then over here I put Zara to work because um, in the video I posted recently, I like that big smile, I was sharing our preschool curriculum and I showed these wipe clean books and I said, I'm having a hard time. I don't know what to use to get all of this dried on, um, kind of stained pages. And you guys were so helpful in your messages saying, use this, use this. Okay, Zara, I'm gonna need to grab, I'm gonna need to grab here a Kleenex. It looks like, cause I don't want you to close the book. So after you, um, after you erase, just use a Kleenex to dry it. Otherwise the pages are all just gonna stick together. So let's go back to the beginning where you first started cleaning. Okay, and just kind of dry it. So somebody said, use a magic eraser. This is the first of like four books we have to do this with. So that's what Zara's gonna do while the other kids think of something to write in their journals. We have some questions for you. Don't eat your licorice quite yet. We have some questions for you. What happened when you were camping with Daddy? This one has um, came down, going down from the uh, river. This from when I was uh, I came, I changed my mind. What was I just climbed up to? I did pulling on the tree so he could climb up. I just fall. And where did you hurt? My tim. Mhm. Mm and how? Then where did you go? Where did you go with mummy? Uh, to the Possible. Yeah, and the doctor came and looked and she, he said, oh yeah, he needs stitches. And then he said, usually I would give kids and we would need to sedate a three-year-old. But he seems really good. He seems to be in really good spirits. Are you trying to see it? I think that he will be good. And so they did the stitches and the whole time they were doing them, they said, I cannot believe he's doing so well. He's the best three-year-old ever. Thanks for watching today's Day in the Life. Give it, oh no, I, my rice is boiling over. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.